get this young man down here. Hey, yeah. Get his attention there. He's still kind of cocky walking around there. Yeah, from over Eddie Marlin is calling Brian Christopher. Hey, come over here. Well, Christopher is still celebrating his win here. Promoter Eddie Marlin. Brian Christopher, I want to tell you something. No, you can ask me something. No, I can tell, tell you something, punk. You listen to me. For the last two months, you've made my life miserable. You're the cause of me getting suspended. <laughs> well, I am back. No. And let me tell you something. I'm going to make your life just as miserable as you made mine. Oh, really? That's exactly oh, right. You're going to make my life miserable. Tell me how, please. I got to hear this. Do you remember a few months ago I called you information and in getting a contract signed on a match and you said it don't make no difference who it is? Book them all against me. I can beat everybody you got. That's right. true. All right. I said it and it's the truth. Okay. Then the truth is going to hurt because next week I've got you in two title matches. The same night, first match, you'll go against Ron Oaks. <laughs> Ooh, wow, Ron Oaks. Just came in on the tomato truck from Florida. Oh, no, he didn't. He did. I tell you what, yeah. Yeah, he did. No, All Ron not. Oaks liked was a little confidence. And Corey, it's a little piece of film. If you'll just yeah. throw it, I want you to refresh your memory about Ron Oaks. That's right. Let's take a look at Ron Oaks' impressive, too, Brian. I'm sitting here right now with a young man by the name of Ron Oaks, who, after his match last week for the Southern Heavyweight Championship, Came up a little bit short and a little bit disappointed. And uh, Ron came to me, and what I detected in this young guy was uh, a lot of potential, great physique, and uh, probably one day will be a superstar. But right now, as uh, is understandably so in young guys, lacks a little bit of self-confidence. And, 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 and Ron, as you, you know, came to me asking for some advice, it reminded me sort of of the story, almost like the Wizard of Oz story, when the Tin Man and the... Uh, Cowardly Lion and Dorothy and the Scarecrow were all going to Oz looking for something that they really already had. And uh, so he was able to give them some sort of a little token that sort of represented what they were looking for. And I think that possibly we may be able to do that with you today. And I want to relate another story. And uh, it's, it's certainly not, uh, you know, they say imitation sometimes is a sincerest form of flattery. And it doesn't hurt to sometimes to imitate somebody as long as they're successful. But there were a couple of guys in here, and you remind me a lot of one of them. Their names were Jim Helwig and Steve Borden. They wrestled in here in this area as the Blade Runners. And uh, like I said, reminded me so much of you that it's, that it's uh, uncanny. Now these guys did okay here, but they lacked the self-confidence and at that time the, uh, the experience to do really well. But they left this area, they took a little bit of paint, put it on their face, and uh, changed their names, got them kind of snazzy name, and one of them, Jim Helwig, became the ultimate warrior, and Steve Borden became Sting. And so uh, I think it was just that new look that helped them with the self-confidence. And so what we're going to do here today, or what I'm going to try to do, if you, is this all right, it was all right with you to try this experiment? Yes, sir. Okay, if you hold this microphone right here, I'm going to take this paint, and uh, I'm going to try a little bit of an experiment with you, and... Uh, just, just see if it helps out, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, all I want you to do is just kind of be still for just a second. I'll try not to make this too painful. Uh, let me get a little outline here or something. So just to kind of go by. Uh-oh. Let me see what we're looking like here. We're just getting a little idea. We're just getting started here. And now, uh, as I said, this uh, Steve Borden, this guy, I guess once he got his face painted to uh, something that he was happy with he then changed the name and went for something that i think he figured would sort of strike fear into the hearts of his opponents he came up with the name of sting which uh you know is a good name so what we're going to have to do now is uh when i get through with you we're going to have to come up with some sort of a name that would uh that would maybe strike fear into the hearts of the opponent i'm going to block the camera here and i'll be done in just a second here you know, I think Sting took that name because he was thinking of the sting of a scorpion, and he figured that would be pretty devastating. So I tried to think, what is another thing that stings you and that uh, is really a powerful sting? And I thought immediately of a hornet. So what about the name Hornet? You like that name? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Hornet's okay? All right, well, let me just touch right here, and we're fixing to introduce the wrestling world to the hornet. Take a look at this and see what you think. Yeah. 
Huh? Yeah. What do you think, man? There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. There he is, the Hornet, Ron Olsen. He's coming in for that Southern Heavyweight title. Yeah. Let me tell you what. what. You should have took that paint and turned him right around and got it dipped into the yellow and painted right down his back. Because when he gets in the ring with me, he's nothing but a yellow coward. Everybody's a yellow coward when they get in the ring with me. That's all right. Next week we'll find out whether he's a yellow coward or not. And if you are lucky enough to survive that match and you still got that belt, well, whether you got the belt or not, you got another match following that, and that's with Billy Travis. And I want to remind you of Billy Travis the last time you've been in the ring with him. Show the video. Let's right? take a look at that. Brian Christopher versus Billy Travis. I just want to tell you one thing. Next week in those two matches, we're going to find out if you're tough as you think you are. Well, Eddie Marlin has signed the bodies, two of them, Ron Oaks and Billy Travis, and whether you have that belt or not, Eddie Marlin says you're going to have to wrestle both of them coming out this week. We'll get ready to... This is not fair! You made, you made the wrong man mad. Now, let's take a break. We'll be back.